Connecticut enables financial institutions to more accurately model, value, and manage large volumes of real estate assets to increase profits and gain a competitive edge in the marketplace. In this example, we applied a mortgage default risk model using the massive Fannie Mae loan performance dataset to predict default risk amongst potential loan acquisitions. The dataset consists of over 40 million loan files with over 2 billion associated monthly performance records. Each month there are revised mortgage performance records released to financial institutions which initiate swift model refitting on the revised data to quickly buy up packages of assets which may be underpriced or lower risk. This requires financial data scientists and institutions to have access to a new class of technology that provides fast data ingestion and analysis, location intelligence, and model fitting and inference. If done well, this process yields more profit given tens or hundreds of billions in managed assets. We'll start in Connecticut's Active Analytics Workbench, or AAW for short, where we train, deploy, and monitor our enterprise machine learning models. We will use a notebook within AAW's RAPIDS Jupyter Lab as a proxy to walk through the model we will be deploying. Notice the model's two reference tables here. We'll go ahead and use the Kinetica RAPIDS connector to hydrate the approximately 40 million loan files and 2.1 billion performance records into RAPIDS data frames using high-performance OLAP queries via industry standard SQL. Along the right side of the notebook, you can see visualizations that highlight a sample of the features that are being used by the model to predict default risk. For example, there is property type, whether the borrower is a first-time home buyer, their debt-to-income ratio, and credit score. We then apply the feature engineering to our loan's data frame, and as usual, split the features from the labels. This is followed by the accelerated training of an XGBoost classifier using the same rapid CUDF data frames, which allows us to both iterate faster as well as tune our model more widely. Finally, we use the RAPIDS Forest inferencing library to do quick inferences of our holdout population. With near instantaneous inference speed benchmarked at 1 million inferences in under two and a half seconds, financial institutions can benefit from quicker model building cycles, less costly tuning, and fast production inferencing. Once we are happy with our model and its initial tests, we can deploy a scalable, production-ready version of the model to the enterprise using AAW and Connecticut's Black Box SDK, and begin applying the default risk results to decisions made by portfolio managers. Now that we've deployed a production model, portfolio managers can leverage the model insights to locate pockets of opportunity within a given market and purchase packages of available loans using a multi-criteria decision analysis. If we are to purchase a package, the loans within it should be located in areas that are expected to experience high population and home ownership growth in the coming years and exhibit low historical and projected default risk. Demographic, housing, and real estate information within the state of Florida is critical for making a successful decision in this instance. In the map on the left, we highlight the five-year American Community Survey population growth rate. The bluer the county, the higher the rate of growth. When we pair this with the home ownership growth rate, represented here as a histogram, we can quickly identify a handful of counties that show promise. In addition, to each county's population and home ownership growth rates, we calculated a default risk index score for each county using industry standard SQL that represents the total historical mortgage defaults against our production default risk model output for new potential acquisitions within each county. The lower a county's index score, the better. Through these standard queries, we've identified Osceola, St. John's, and Sumter counties as areas of interest that portfolio managers can examine further and move towards a final purchase. But before that decision is made, we must first look at the location and associated attribution of the available loan acquisitions. The map on the right represents all of the potential acquisitions across the state and their proximity to Interstate 4, one of Florida's fastest growing transportation corridors. Of the three counties we identified, Osceola and Sumter fall within a 25-mile proximity of I-4, with Osceola County possessing the largest number of potential loan acquisitions and highest market value opportunity. Cross-referencing these loans against the available packages offers a clear decision. Loan acquisitions in the area of interest within Package 4 maintain the lowest max and min default risk aggregation predicted by our default risk model. 
Previously, to perform this kind of analysis, organizations would need to use a complex mix of infrastructure for data science and analytics, leading to slow iteration cycles and time to decision. Kinetica converges the ability to do advanced analytics and accelerated data science on a single platform from data exploration to model training and deployment, enabling organizations to operationalize their models more effectively and make faster decisions.